Well, I'm 73. My health is pretty good. I exercise a fair amount. I've had a number of medical issues over the past uh, few years, prostate cancer, that kind of thing. But other than that, uh, everything's looking pretty good. So I try to, try to stay in shape, trying to lose weight. I guess I just started to feel sick and I didn't know what it was. First night I was really sick. I had a fever that spiked up to over 103 and you know, shivering and can't get out of bed and all that kind of stuff. And then the next morning I felt fine. So it was like, oh yeah, I guess that wasn't that serious. You know, I was even thinking about going for a workout and you know, all that stuff. And then that night it hit again and hit harder. And I was uh, getting out of bed to go to the bathroom. I felt a little nauseous and I kind of got down on the floor and that was it. I was on the floor. <laughs> I wasn't getting up. I don't remember anything from when I kind of went down to the floor to about 10 minutes, 15 minutes later in the ambulance when I kind of became aware of what was going on again. But I understand they were asking me questions like, where do you live? And I gave them a place we lived five years ago and that kind of thing. So I was pretty incoherent, not really, uh, not really uh, in touch with, with reality. You know, they told me in the emergency room that I had severe sepsis. And so there's sort of stages. There's sepsis, severe sepsis, and septic shock, which is when everything starts to shut down. And so I was kind of on the border of, of, of sepsis, severe sepsis and septic shock. I found out that I was in the 20 to 50, uh, 30 to 50% mortality category going into the emergency room. I thought that was a little too close to the edge, you know? <laughs> Looking into the abyss, right? So after, after a couple of days, I started to feel better. And uh, you know, my, you know, they'd take these blood tests and you're used to the scan, you know, green, 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 yellow. Mine looked like a Christmas tree. It was all the different blood levels were all over the map and, uh, you know, low, low potassium, low calcium, low blood pressure. And so they just monitored everything. And over a period of a couple of days, uh, things sort of stabilized and got better. What I learned is you really have to pay attention to your symptoms. And if you're sick and you're older, uh, you better, you know, you don't let it go for a day or two because there's some bad things that can happen on the time scale of, you know, a day or two. Well, it's a lot like the flu, right? Big, big fever, chills, shaking, weakness. So it's like a bad case of the flu. And, you know, for that reason, you can be confused, right? You can think, oh, I got the flu, that's not so bad. But older people die of the flu too pretty often. So. You know, just like with anything, whenever you're sick, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to it and take care of it. The message is, know what, know what the symptoms are, know what, the, know what the serious signs are, and there are a bunch of them for heart attack, stroke, you know, all these things you gotta pay attention to, but one of them's high fever, and you need, to, uh, you need to take action when you first see that, because you don't have that much time, you know? You don't have a, you don't have a week to kind of think about it and go into the, emergency room. You got to take care of yourself.